Hello friends, I am Varsha Sharma, working as the assistant professor in the Bihani group of colleges. On the behalf of Guru Kepia, I am presenting a lecture on the topic of IRR. IRR means internal rate of return. Internal rate of return are those rate which equates the present value of inflows to the present value of outflows. This method is also known as uh, time adjusted rate of return, marginal rate of return and marginal efficiency of capital. This method is also in other words, we can say where the NPV is zero is also known as the internal rate of return because the NPV formula is internal presented value cash outflows minus present value of cash inflows minus present value of cash outflows. If our inflows are more than our outflows, then we accept the net present value. Another we will reject where the outflows are more than our inflows. But in the IRR method, we find out that those rate which equates the inflows to they are outflows. So, in simple words, we can say that in the NPV is the difference between the outflows and the inflows and the IRR is the rate in which, in which outflows are equal to our inflows. So, the formula is C1 divided by 1 plus R, C2 divided by 1 plus R whole the power 2 and the number of CN 1 plus R and minus initial investment is equal to 0. For example, here the initial investment is 1000 and the cash outflows at the initial investment is 1000 and the cash inflows are at the end of the year is 1080. We put this value into this formula C1, C1 denotes to the cash inflows, cash inflows is 1080 and the outflows is denoted by the I initial investment here is 1000. When we put the value into the formula then we get the rate is 8%. But here we only consider the one year. In actual practice, in the in actual practice, project have a number of years life. So we consider the many years cash inflows or outflows. So we take the help of the present value of annuity table. Here we see that there are two types of cash inflows. First one is even cash inflows, and second one is uneven cash inflows. In even cash inflows, same cash inflows are occur whole of the life of the project. For example, if in the first year we earn 2000 rupees, in the second year we also earn 2000 rupees, third year we also earn 2000 rupees. But in the cash, in the uneven cash flows, we earn the different, 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 different cash inflows. For the example, first year we earn 2000 rupees, second year maybe we earn 5000 rupees, third year maybe we earn 10,000 rupees or 15,000 rupees. When we calculate the IRR through the even method, we follow the three steps. First step, rough approximation be made with reference to the payback period. Here, we take the example, of, we take the formula of it, I upon C. I is denotes to initial investment divided by C. Here, we take the one example. Example is, suppose that initial investment is 10,000 rupees and the expected cash flows are 3,000 rupees for the 5 years. It means 5 years we earn 3,000 rupees. That amount is, in, amount of inflows are same. We put in this formula, because of, we find out the approximation internal rate of return through the payback period. The formula is I upon C. 10,000 divided by 3,000 is equal to 3.3. .3. In the second step, we find out the present value of project for the rates. Around of, after find out this 3.3, .3, we find out the nearest rate, nearest interest rate about this value. When we, when we see in the present value of annuity, we find out that the rate is 15% and the 16%. On the behalf of these rate, we calculate the present value of present value of project. And the formula of the present value of project is annual cash inflows into present value factor for the annuity. On the 15%, we find out 3000 is inflows and the present value of annuity is 3.52. And the 16%, we find out 3000 and 3.274. The values come is 10,056 and the 9,822. On the 15% we find out 10,056 and on the 16% we find out 9,822. Internal rate comes between, exactly internal rate come between these two rates. Then what is our actual internal rate? So between these two rates. So we find out, so we calculate the formula through the interpolation and the interpolation formula is 
LDR lower discount rate rate plus P1 present value of lower rate minus Q divided by P1 is present value of lower rate, P2 is present value of higher rate into SDR higher discount rate and minus LDR, LDR is lower discount rate. Here LDR lower discount rate is 15 percent and 1056 is P1, Q is initial investment, P1 is again uh, lower rate present value 10056 minus P2 higher rate value the 9822 into higher discount rate rate is 16 percent and lower discount rate is 15 percent. The value and the exact rate internal rate is 15.24 percent. Second methods of the cash cash inflows are uneven cash inflows. Uneven cash flows are those cash inflows are those cash inflows which occur different different in the different different year. For example, in the first year we uh, our inflows is 10,000 rupees in the second year, 20,000 in the third thousand. When we calculate the IRR in the case of uneven cash inflows, we follow the trial and the error method. From the trial and in the error method, we find out rates. We find out the uh, different different rates of the IRR. Then we follow the interpolation formula and find the exact rate. After discussing the even and uneven cash flows, there are some advantages and the disadvantages of the IRR method. The advantages are maximization of profit. This method or this concept is basically profit oriented concepts and this method is focused on the on the maximum or the optimum rate of the profit. Second is time value of money. This method considers the time value of money. It adjusts their cash inflows according to the time period. Third one is risk and uncertainty. It covers all the risk and the uncertainties of the project because it takes the time value of money in the concept. Third one is consider whole life of the project. It covers whole life of the project. There parallelly the advantage there are some disadvantage or there are also some disadvantages of the IRR method. First one is difficult to understand. Difficult to understand means its calculation is very complicated and difficult to understand because it takes more time. And second one is difficult in decision making because Sometimes there are multiple rates comes at the at the front of the evaluator, so it confused or there or sometime it or this method also gives the negative rate of return. So, friends, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the further details. Please visit our website www.gurukpo.com.